Hello. Today's topic is amino acid. So basically, if we talk about amino acids, then amino acids are those compounds which contains at least one amino group and one carboxylic group. The amino group could be linked to carbon just next to the carboxylic group or which a gap of one or two carbons they are called alpha, beta or gamma acids respectively. Where examples are here NH2C triple OH it is called alpha amino acetic acid like this and NH2 it is beta amino propionic acid and so on like this now we will talk about the classification classification of amino acid in the classification the first we will talk about there are amino acids can be classified in different ways the first way is as essential or non essential amino acids the first point as essential and non essential amino as essential and non essential amino acids amino acids which are very important or essential for the growth of human and animals are called essential amino acids these amino acids cannot be synthesized by the body and must be supplied in the diet as such lack of these amino acids in the diet may cause the disease amino acids which are synthesized by our body are called non essential amino acids the second is as neutral basic or acidic amino acid so the first point is neutral amino acid So all the those acids which have equal negative and positive charge are called neutrals. So we can define them amino acids having one amino group and one carboxylic groups are called neutral amino acids. The example is, examples are glycine and adenine. The glycine is plus it's the glycine and adenine the B is basic amino acid Basic amino acid can be classified as amino acids containing two amino or amino and one carboxylic groups. One carboxylic groups are called basic amino acids. The examples are lysine and arylene. Lysine is CH2, 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 
CH2 then CH NH2 CH maybe C minus it is called lysine the third are acidic amino acid in acidic amino acids we can define them amino acids having one amino and two carboxylic groups or called acidic amino acids the examples are CH2, CH, NH3 plus and C double O minus it is aspartic acid and CH2, CH2, CH, NH3 plus glutamic acid. Now we talk about ISO electric point points. So ISO electric points as amino acids are polar na in nature. They show electrical properties on applying electrical fields to to the solution of amino acids they migrate to one or to other electrodes depending upon the flowing factors so the flowing factors are amino acids and isoelectric point Here is alanine 6.02, boline 5.97, serine 5.70. These three of all are neutral. Aspartic acid and glutamic acid. It is two point eight seven and three point two two. Both are acidic. Lysine is nine point seven four and Azinine 10.70 Both are basic in nature. Methods of preparation of preparation of amino acids. In methods of preparation from alpha halogen acids, it's very simple. When alpha halogen acids treat with ammonia or ammonium hydroxide, give alpha amino acid like it is alpha halogen acid and it is treated with ammonium hydroxide 
then it reacts and water molecule is eliminated and NH4 Cl is also eliminated and the left part is glycine solution of ammonia is needed to be obtained a good yield of a amino acids the alpha halogen used as a starting substance is obtained by Hell, Bolhard, Jelinski methods at, as follows like it is acetic acid reacts with chlorine in the presence of red phosphorus and alpha halogen acetic acid is obtained chloroacetic acid The second process is group synthesis. In group synthesis, on reductive ammonolysis of alpha keto acids gives amino acids, it is called group synthesis. In group synthesis, alpha keto acids reacts with ammonia and NH C double OH is obtained on reduction in the presence of PD NH2 alpha amino acid is obtained Obtain. Now we talk about 